Hello guys, this is Svetlana from Comic Cosplay and welcome to part 3 of my Alloy Making of video series from Horizon Zero Dawn. So last time I showed you how we made the belt and the quiver. Just check out the video here. And today I'm going to show you how I styled the wig, how we made the helmet and I'm going to do a quick makeup test as well. Doing a makeup test is a very important step in a project because I actually have no idea if I will look like Alloy or not. It only takes a few minutes, but it's incredibly helpful. And do you know what is incredibly helpful as well? My cosplay crafting books, they will help you to make awesome costumes as well. Just check them out in the link below. You will learn a lot of super helpful cosplay crafting stuff and in return I will get all your money and use it for dog food. See, it's a win-win situation. Atlas. And now let's start the building. As always, we use the in-game photo mode to look at all the parts we wanted to build. Okay, so let's start with the wig. We used the official cosplay guide for reference. It shows Aloy's hair from every angle, which is super handy. I decided to start with a dark copperette Matilda lace front wig from Arda Wigs. After pinning the wig on a styrofoam hat, I separated the hair into sections. Once I found a clean line, I attached blonde and orange colored wefts with fabric glue. The proper way would have been to sew them in, but I'm way too lazy for that. I've repeated the step a couple of times and added a lot of additional hair to the wig. This way the wig not only got the extra volume it needed, but also nice highlights. Next I cut the weft shorter, so they fit to the original hair length. Then it was time for styling. I began with Aloy's mighty top hair. I made several thick curls, fixed them with butterfly clamps and added a good amount of strong hairspray. Then I made a few braids all around the hairline. Yeah, there were actually a lot of braids. After that the wig just needed to get some waves and curls. I picked thick strands of hair, wrapped them around hair curlers, pinned them into place and heated them up with my hair dryer. After that I let the hair cool down for around one hour. Perfect time to cuddle Midna! Once cuddle time was over I released the curlers and got these lovely waves all over the wig. Pretty! Last but not least, I had to finish the ends of the braids. For this I simply bought large colored wooden beads and drilled the hole a bit bigger. I secured the end with a little rubber band, covered the rest of the hair in tape and slid the beads up. Now I just had to hide the top rubber band under a nice leather strap, cut off the lace front mesh, shorten the sideburns a bunch and Aloy's wig was done! Yay! I really love how it turned out. So pretty! The next part was the mighty hat piece. Benny's brother Jacob 3D modeled the whole thing from scratch in Maya and ZBrush. He used a few screenshots from the photo mode for reference and scaled it directly to a 3D scan of my hat. Having a scan of yourself is super handy and guarantees that your models will fit perfectly. And this was the final 3D model. In total he worked around 15 hours on it. Holy smokes! Now Benny had to print the whole thing on our Sawtrax M200 machines. This process alone took around 3 days. And sanding all the parts was also quite time consuming. For him, I mean, I didn't help, I just watched. <laughs> he mainly worked with an orbital sander and sanding sponges. Then he glued all pieces together, filled the gaps with a spot puppy, sanded some more, added a spray primer and still kept sanding. Yay, it was a lot of sanding. But then. Finally time for painting! 
For the base we used an almost black metallic spray paint. Afterwards Benny added some silver scratches with dry brushing and a bit of dirt with brown oil paint. Now just a layer of protective spray varnish and it was finally time to glue the whole helmet together. Ok, now only these bright feather looking things were missing. Benny designed them in Adobe Illustrator and laser cut them out of Starry. Each piece had three layers. Benny sanded them a bit and connected them with super glue. Looks good! For the paint job he used a silver airbrush color as a base and added only a little bit of dirt with black oil paint. Afterwards we carefully attached all of them to the helmet. Our glue was a mix of leftover ABS and acetone. We just put a whole bunch of it on and hoped for the best. For the attachment I also added a red faux leather strap and some velcro tape to the ends. And this was the finished helmet. Neato! Oh, and I also had to create a mask, right? Let's make the pattern like this! I simply covered my face in tape, drew a pattern on, adjusted it a bit and traced it on brown faux leather. A little bit of sewing and some straps, a bit of weathering and the spot was done as well. Ok, now comes the makeup test. It's time to get serious. This is me without any makeup or photoshop. Crazy, right? I started by putting on a wig cap and adding a few pins. A bit of foundation here, some darker contouring there, red for my blushy cheeks and two curious dogs outside. I tried to keep my eye makeup simple but strong. Just a bit of dark eyeliner, eyeshadow and mascara. Oh, and I added more freckles on top of my own freckles. And yeah, brows. Aloy has a lot of brows. So I needed more brows as well. Brows. Looking good so far. Now just a natural lip color and we're done. This was before the makeup. And this after. So let's try the wig on. Since it's a lace front wig, I actually had to use skin glue to attach the hairline. It's a bit of extra work, but the result looks really natural and very convincing. Hmm, I think it looks great. I like it. So next comes the mask. I am Batman. And finally the helmet. Now this looks badass. I'm really happy how it turned out. And it's almost comfortable. Man, I cannot wait to finish this costume finally. What is missing are actually the bracers, the shoulder pieces and the breastplate. But more in the next video. Now I actually have to decide which weapon I want to make for this costume. The warbow, the sharp shot bow or even this weird thing, whatever it is. That's really cool. There are actually plenty of options. So just write me your suggestions in the comments below. As always, subscribe to our channel and if you want to see more videos, support us on Patreon. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!